All right, all right. Class is in session. Welcome back to Digital Scribology. My name is Naeem Edwards. I am your professor, your instructor, your coach. This semester, we are covering the 48 laws of songwriting. Today, we are talking about law six. Now, this is one of those controversial things because a lot of people like to say all attention is not good attention. I 100% agree with that. I would never argue against that. But it's court attention at all costs. You want to make sure when you got the momentum, when you're getting your momentum or you're building your momentum, that the right people see you, that people need to see you. I don't like the whole all attention thing because all attention is not, you know, people get punched drunk with shit and go off the rails. But when the right people see you, you want to make sure they keep looking at you. You want to make sure you keep doing shit. If you are known for writing these kind of songs, you want to make sure you get those songs out to those people who, you know, will, you want to make sure you get those songs out to the people who have the eyes, even if they don't like you, even if you don't like them, you need to find a way to make sure that you stay in front of their audience. You stay in front of people because when you get in front of their audience, it's going to bring people to you and they're going to bring more people and more people. It's a domino effect, really. Like when they say court attention at all costs or make sure that people are always looking at you, you don't want to let up. I have this thing where when I drop music, like when I start dropping music, I'll drop so much music. I treat it like dope. I'm not going to give you a chance to get used to what I got. I'm going to keep coming with shit that's stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Even if you don't click on it, even if you don't listen to it, even if nothing comes from it aside from the idea that this motherfucker keep dropping songs. That's all I need. I need to be on your mind at all times. Some people take it in a crazier approach where they'll just say any motherfucking thing to get attention because they got some other shit going because they already, the reason that people would even do that is because they already got people riding with them. They already got people who are going to stand beside them no matter what the fuck comes out of their mouth. So anything outrageous they say, that's just to get the attention of the other people. So they're, they're fine with whatever they got. They want, Everybody, they're advertising. They want people to see. So if you see something you like, you're more likely to come over there and check it out. Or a motherfucker will say something just totally that they, people will say shit they don't even fucking believe. Like, they'll say some crazy ass, nonsensical ass, get out here and just flat out fucking lie, say anything, do any fucking thing, right? They're building momentum up because they might be dropping a project. They might be coming out with something. And in the mind of the consumer, see, you might not think like that, but the mind of a person who is consuming something, like a casual consumer, they're looking at that shit like, if they're saying this crazy ass shit, I wonder what else the fuck crazy they saying. You know, that's entertaining. That's entertainment to people. They they don't give, they're, they would, people will hate you so much. And this is, this is where that court attention shit come in. And getting people's attention is because people will hate you so much and dislike the shit you say and dislike the shit you do so much that they'll unconsciously be supporting the shit that you have. They don't like it, but they'll binge hate watch. They'll binge hate listen. They'll just listen to try to nitpick and pull everything the fuck apart, doing a full analyzation, dissecting your songs, dissecting your lyrics, doing all of that just because they hate you. Not because they are interested in songs, not because they're interested in music, not because they love language, because I don't fucking like you at all. And I hate you so fucking much that I want to make sure that I build my arsenal up with every fucking thing that you have ever said wrong and every fucking thing that's whatever. So when you come crashing down, I can be the first person to come out and say that now it's it did that this one would really depend on you if you're a person who don't want the attention the thing with 
not wanting the attention is you're going to be limited to how far you can go because you're going to need attention to go far. It's, this is just, you know, attention from the people who can help you get far or attention from the vessels that can help you get far or just attention from your fans because you don't want your fan base and the people who enjoy your writing or the people who enjoy your music or your books or your whatever you do. You don't want those people to feel like you don't, you, you're not active. You're just sitting around whatever or, you know, whatever. Now, it works for some people being mysterious and being mystique and never talking, but they always have something. They usually have shit to counterbalance that. Like, they'll pop out maybe once a week. They'll say this or whatever. Or they'll shut the fuck up and they'll come out with something real crazy and something real big and start doing something and they'll go back into hiding. But courting attention at all costs is one of those things just like wanting to be the center of attention wanting to have attention i would say court the right attention make sure you keep the eyes make sure that you don't make people fatigue with what you are doing make sure that you're you're not fatiguing people out with how you look and how you sound and what your music sounds like and doing all of this shit because as soon as you bore these motherfuckers to the point where they're just like yeah i already know what's coming and you're already predictable and it's whatever. It's like, you're not going to have that. That's why a motherfucker would really come out and do something fucking crazy. Like, I don't even want to get no say You know, you've seen people just do shit that you would never think a motherfucker would do. Just completely fucking outrageous. That's why they do that because they want to give you that shot. They want to hit your system. They want to they wanna do something that will cause you to say something and make it spread. Now, you can do with that as you will. This, this law, you can kind of just like... If you play it safe, you'll be okay. I would say for this law, if you have to get attention, fucking, did a mosquito bite me? Something bit me. If you have to get attention, I would say always start cold, like ice cold, frost cold, then gradually move to being scorching, flaming, ghost pepper hot. I wouldn't get out here and be you know, doing nothing crazy, wearing nothing crazy, just saying any old motherfucking thing just to get people's whatever. Because the thing with getting attention is you want to make sure you have somewhere to send their attention. Now that I have your eyes, I got somewhere to send you. Now that I have your ears, I got somewhere to send you. You don't want to just have the attention and just be standing around looking crazy as a bitch with nothing to promote, nothing to give people, no song to give people, no beat to send an artist. Now that everybody's looking at you or everybody knows what you sound like, you want to make sure you got something for them to go. That would be the purpose and the uh, the thing with building up your catalog. You can be building your catalog then one day wake up like you had zero songs one day. You know what? I'm dropping 100 songs today. That's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So this is going to conclude today's lesson. This one, just do, do with it as you want to do with it. You can or you can't, but just make sure you protect your reputation because doing any old thing and saying any old thing and trying to be any old thing that usually doesn't work for most people. So this is the digital scribology course, the 48 laws of power slash the 48 laws of songwriting. It's not the 48 laws of power, but it's the 48 laws of songwriting based on the 48 laws of power. I am Naeem Edwards, your coach, your instructor, your professor class is dismissed.